Hey guys, Matt from soundrolling.com here, just waiting for my plane, going to Amsterdam, start that feature film. It's going to be pretty sick. Ooh, and the uh, escalator started again. I um, wanted to talk a bit about, because yesterday I did uh, the wireless video, you can just check episode 34, and so I wanted to explain the difference between uh, mic level and this minus 10 and line level. Uh, essentially the minus 10 and line level are the same thing. There's a discrepancy of about 12 dB, that's kind of rounded up. I'll post a link to an article below which explains the difference between uh, line level and minus 10 really, really well, but I kind of wanted to give you a quick overview. Essentially the difference between line level and mic level is mic level is going to give you Mic level is designed for the microphone, so the microphone is tiny, it's dealing with very, very tiny voltages, and so it's going to be well below um, the voltage that we need to accurately uh, replicate it without loads and loads of kind of system noise, let's call it. Um, so then we have these two differences, uh, minus 10, which is essentially for prosumer, it's called prosumer level, and it was essentially the kind of when hi-fis were coming out to make them cheaper, they basically didn't want to have to amplify them as much. That's kind of the short version of that story. Then there's professional level, and that is plus four dBV. Um, you don't necessarily have to worry about that at the moment, but just know that if you're going from, once you've amplified, um, so once you've got your microphone and you've gone into your mixer and you're going out, if you're going out into a professional recorder like a mixing desk or anything else like that, you want line level. And if you're going into any sort of prosumer gear, let's say you, you're recording onto mini disc for some reason, then you are going to want to record into uh, minus 10. Um, again, there'll be that difference of 10, uh, it's 11.74, I believe, dB. So essentially if you plug in your gear and have your tone, for instance, play at, at minus 20, so you're calibrating. What will happen is, is if you're in either one of these, it's either going to make your signal uh, 10 dB hotter or 10 dB quieter. And 10 decibels roughly is doubling or halving, depending which way you go, obviously, from taking away or pulling down. So that's a rough overview of line level, and it's just to make you aware that when you're going from a mixer to anything else, it's just always better to go with line level because if you go from mic level again, it's going to treat that signal as if it's really, really small and then want you to boost it up again. And this adds a lot more signal noise. So I'm going to go catch my flight. And if you like this video, click thumbs up. And of course, you can subscribe for daily content. So I'll see you later.